I am Anubhav and today we are going to see electrostatics. In electrostatics, the very complicated point what we are having is that electric potential due to a point charge. So to explain this point, what we have done, we have considered a charge at point A as Q and at point C we have considered another charge as Q0. The distance between the point A and C is going to be X and two more points we have considered on this line as D and E. The distance between D and E is going to be a small distance as D of X. The distance between A and B we have considered as R and the direction of the electric field is going to be outward. So when we are talking about force as per the Coulomb's law when two points, two charges, they are at a finite distance they will attract or repel each other in the sense they are going to exert a kind of force. So the force will be equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught k q q naught divided by x square along ac as per coulomb's law as per coulomb's law okay once a force is getting exert on the point other way on the charge q naught it will start moving towards the another charge otherwise it will start moving away from the another charge so there will be a work. Why? Because work is equal to force into displacement. Already for, force is there and because of that force, charge is going to get moved. So therefore the work done, D of W, if we are going to consider between the point D and E, it will be equal to minus F into DX, where F is the force and DX is going to be the displacement. The minus symbol represents work done in the opposite direction of the force. When we are going for the entire work done, W, we can do the integration of f into dx but as of now we don't have the limit for the integration so what we are going to do over here initially initially we are considering x is equal to infinity and finally x is equal to r in the sense the first distance x between a and c is going to be infinity and between a and b the distance is going to be r hence we can put the limit for this and we will get w is equal to minus infinity to r f into dx. Now what we got to do from the equation first we are going to substitute the value of f in the following equation. So the equation will get term as 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught k into q q naught by x square into dx. To continue this equation, we will see over here, the equation will come just like this. W will be equal to minus 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught k q q naught integration of 1 by x square with respect to x, where the limit is going to be infinity to r. These are the constant terms, so we have taken them out. So we will write them just like this, q q naught. And the integration of 1 by x square, so we will see over here, if we are writing 1 by x square, it is equal to x power minus 2. If we are doing the integration of x power minus 2 with respect to dx, the equation will get turned as minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1. Finally, what we are going to get over here? Minus x inverse. The value will be minus 1 by x. So from this, the integration of 1 by x square, directly we can write minus 1 by x and limit is going to be infinity to r. Substitute the limit. While substituting the limit, we are going to get 4 pi epsilon naught k as the upper limit is going to be r so minus 1 by r minus minus lower limit is going to be 1 by infinity so the value of 1 by infinity is going to be 0 so instead of it we are going to substitute 0 and equation will be q by q naught 4 pi epsilon naught k minus 1 by r minus and minus will become plus w will be equal to q q naught divided by 4 pi epsilon naught k into r this will be equal to the work done for bringing the point from c 
C to B. But the main objective of our derivation is to find out the potential difference. So, the potential difference used to be equal to the work done by point charge. So, from the following equation, other from the above equation, we are having the value of W is Q Q naught divided by 4 pi epsilon naught K into R. And again we got to divide it by Q naught. So Q naught. Q naught and Q naught got cancelled. The value will be 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught K into Q by R. So this will be the final equation for the potential difference due to a point charge. Hence proved. The next topic we are going to see in the next class. Thank you.